Hello and welcome to Woodbridge, the best town around. My name is John McCormick. I'm the mayor of this great town. And tonight we are at Strickland Steakhouse for the most anticipated grand opening of a business in Woodbridge that I can even remember in my entire career as mayor. I'm joined by Mike Strickland. And Mike, will you quick, quickly introduce your uh, family, if you don't mind? Yes, we have here my beautiful wife, daughter Isabella, my other daughter Juliana, and our, our new addition, Mikey. Hi, Mikey. And we're also joined another Mike. We've got three Mikes up here. Mike Ostrowski, who is uh, not only Mike Strickland's best friend and childhood friend, but best man in his wedding, and he's also the general manager here. So we have the team that's running this fantastic business. So, Mike, we talked a story about how for a long time we wanted a steakhouse you had a relationship with Sharon from Not Just Bagels because you worked there. She loved you, and she reached out and said, you got you got to call Mike Strickland. you got to talk to him. Even if he's not interested in doing something himself, he'll advise you. He'll help you. We went through the struggle of going to your West Shore Inn three separate times for steaks and drinks. It was, it was, it was terrible, folks, the things we have to do as, as uh, public officials. And we basically, I don't mind admitting, we fell in love with you, and we fell in love with everything about you, and now here we are. Tell me, tell me what's going through. You, you know, local boy done good right now. I mean, kid grew up in Port Reading, born in Woodbridge, uh, and now he's opening up a steakhouse on Main Street. That's cool. It is, and and it's a little surreal. Uh, it was a long road to get here. I have a lot of thank yous to give out. Go to for it. My family, my parents. Uh, you know, we spent nights here putting the tables and chairs together. Um, Bob Paulus, the WIC team, Mayor. Uh, my GM, Mike Ostrowski, who assembled our wonderful team that we have here that made all this happen. Sharon for, you know, introducing you to mm -hmm. me and, and getting the whole ball rolling. My beautiful wife for designing the entire place. My kids, the, the support and love of my family. You know, my name's on the front of that building, but it's ultimately you guys that made all this happen. So, terrific. The world to me. And now how about, you are the uh, brains behind the decorations and the decor here and everything that's, you know, from the chandeliers to the wood to everything. Tell me what that was like. It was a project, but um, hey, Jake, Mikey. it was a vision that I had in mind, and it is absolutely a dream come true to see it come to life. Do you have any background in interior decorating? No. All right, well, you should. <laughs> You've got one now. Yeah. I, don't, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody says, who did this and hires you? You should start a business. Thank you. How does it feel to be part of this whole effort that's really doing a great thing for downtown Woodbridge? It's surreal. It's really a dream come true, you know, um, to come from two businesses, the whole entire uh, situation with COVID, get this opportunity at, such, at that time, and then to really push through and see a vision and have a dream and to make it come to real life was everything. It was Terrific. amazing. Terrific. Hey, man. Let me ask Mike now. Mike, you've, as I said, you've known this Mike forever. You've run restaurants before. What's your thoughts now coming into this? This is probably, I'm guessing, the best restaurant you've ever run. Without a doubt. It's, right. a, it's an honor to be a part of this. Uh, again, like Mike said, I give thanks to the team that we brought on. Uh, you know, it's just nice to be a part of this. And I'm happy to be here and wouldn't want to do it with anyone else besides my Mike over here. So. Well, you have a camera rolling. Talk about your hours. Talk about your menu. Talk about anything you want. And tell us what Strickland Steakhouse is all about. Uh, it's going to be the best of the best. We got, we got uh, farm to table uh, food. Uh, craft cocktails, uh, you know, we got a great staff, hard workers, our chef, he's, uh, he's got a lot of good background in him, and, you know, that's that. Tell me about the steaks at Strickland Steakhouse. They're elite prime, they're, uh, you know, we, <laughs> they're elite prime steaks, you know, we did, you know, the best you get, dry age, elite prime. And the, really the steakhouse, uh, the locker downstairs just, I think, makes the whole first floor, it's so beautiful. Absolutely, yeah, it's all about the ambience there, too, it really creates the whole uh, vibe down there. Uh, like Jess did an amazing job with creating the vibes here, and uh, you know we're just happy to be here. And you've know. got things on the menu too besides steak. You got the pappardelle, you got the uh, scallops. Tell me a little more. Fresh seafood. Like I said, our chef's got a really great background in seafood. We bring the whole fish in, fillet from there. Um, you know everything's fresh, super. It melts right in your mouth, the fish. So. And how about the staff? How easy has it been to get staff? Uh, to, to come here and believe it or not it really wasn't <coughs> as hard for this project because I have a really good support team. I, a lot of a lot of the people I've worked with over the years followed me over here. Uh, I'm very blessed, very lucky for that. And uh, it was actually an easy process than normally it should have been uh, to build a, such a great team that we have here. So we're very fortunate on that end. And this location? That's a testament to you. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, okay, that's good. Uh, 
Upper Main Street, this location is terrific. There's, there's people walking up and down Main Street now. You got Ply Bowls open, you've opened, we got a Mexican place coming, an Irish place coming, another place coming across from Town Hall. Uh, there's something going to happen next door by, by Vito Maza. We're making Main Street a, a, a destination for restaurants. We are, as it should have been for, for many years. And you have a vision, we have a vision, and we're bringing it to life. And, and talk about the fact that if we didn't have the downtown luxury apartments, people walking around with money in their pockets. They can afford $2,500 for a, a one-bedroom apartment. They certainly can be your customers. It, it, this wouldn't have happened without that. Correct. Um, I mean, I've always wanted to open up something in town, so this was something that as soon as the opportunity arose, I, I, was, I was all in. And then when I heard what was coming, it made it a no-brainer. Um, a lot of our clientele is from you know the apartments. That's Didn't you say at one point you told Carol maybe 80 to 90 percent of your uh, tickets were Woodbridge all from credit Woodbridge. cards? All from Woodbridge. Wow, that's just amazing. All right, well, why don't we cut a ribbon? How about you girls? You guys work, girls want to help me cut a ribbon? First, let me present Mike with a proclamation. Let me take... Oh, the bank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this was, that's cool. Good idea. Um, the bank building, it was a bank building for many, many years. I think it was National State Bank. Woodbridge National Bank. Woodbridge National Bank. Um, the theme here is bank, and I guess that's what you did, Jess. Um, everybody loves the bank robber pictures. Mm -hmm. They're so cool. Yeah. So tell me about the fact that it's a bank theme. Sure. I mean, the, you always want to keep the history and integrity of this building. It is absolutely phenomenal. So with that in mind, that we have menu items that go with the bank. We have cocktail names that go with bank. And when I saw that little nook from day one, I wanted to make it bank robber themed. So you were sitting in a piece of history, okay. in a building of history. All right, five, four, three, two, one, go. Yay! Very good job. Good job. <laughs> All right, thank you, folks. Enjoy the rest of the night. Yeah! Okay, we're here now with the Woodbridge team who has been responsible for this fantastic grand opening tonight to bring Strickland Steakhouse to Woodbridge. To my right is Marta Levsky, the planning director. To my left, Carolyn Ehrlich, the redevelopment agency director and chief of staff. And to her left, the deputy redevelopment director, Heather Lamata. So now I'm going to start with Carol because you know as far back as I can remember, all we talked about was Steakhouse on Main Street. Oh it was in our God. vision. We told everybody this is what we wanted. We knew that when you have something like this on Main Street, game over. You're established Everybody knows Strickland Steakhouse now, um, and it's been wonderful. So let's tell a story about how Sharon. Oh, well, Sharon's here. She'll tell it, but it's an amazing, amazing story. So Sharon goes, um, I don't want to tell the whole story. No, but, tell the whole story. Uh, so, okay. So um, Sharon, um, okay. So Michael's father, Mike Strickland, who owns this, comes to Sharon's bagel shop and sees the job sign employee wanted and he says will you hire my 14 year old son and Sharon says sure and he says to his son you better work hard work 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 and he was a great worker and I don't think he has stopped working right right because this is his second restaurant and it's third restaurant really third restaurant right, right. and there's so much love in here but I, I kind of want to tell the story too of Oh, most of us from Woodbridge know what this building looked like before they started doing all it was nothing of the to be proud of. Nothing no, to be it proud was of. absolutely not. And the amount of work that went into this, and the three of us, uh, as part of our, our, the redevelopment team and the, the building department, we came out at least once a month mm -hmm. to help them to watch with the changes to make sure everything was going smoothly you know we came up to the second floor when all there were were wooden planks mm -hmm. on the floor and uh to see this transformation it's just so heartwarming and working with michael and his family they are such good good people and 
They're they, from Woodbridge. They have to wood, be. Exactly. They're natives. So, so look, go back to the first story, though. Um, Sharon then, Sharon McAuliffe, the ones not just bagels, said to us one day, you know, you're talking about this steakhouse. She ought to reach out to Mike Strickland. He owns the West Shore Inn in Staten Island, which I was not familiar with. Uh, and you should talk to him. Maybe he can help you in your goal to get a steakhouse on Main Street. So we, being the public servants that we are, had to go out three different times. It's a hard job. Three you different times we had to go to out to West Shore Inn to eat and drink. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is sacrifices we make as, as public servants. Yep. So then we talked to Mike. We instantly love Mike Strickland. We instantly. Did. Yep. And when we met with him, and then we saw the building here was for sale. So it was going to be a nursing school. And nothing against nurses, but they'll be at work at Eight thirty school at eight thirty. They brown bag their lunch. They leave at four thirty. Nothing for Main Street. So we bought the building from the guy who was selling it. He had a deal. We matched the deal. He said I'd rather sell it to the town. We held it for a little bit. Then we sold it to um, Bob, Bob Paulus, Paulus, who turned around and rented it out to Mike Strickland. So Heather, you know Bob has been amazing, an amazing partner in so many different projects here in town. Go ahead. Tell me all about it. About Bob Paulus? <laughs> yes, about Bob Paulus. Um, um, he's just an amazing developer, so easy to work with. Um, he's been such a great partner to the town. He's done anything and everything that we've asked of him, so we couldn't ask for a better developer. And Marty, you know, being in charge of the building department, all it took to get this place to be what it was to what it is now, which was a monumental effort. This place was really? awful inside, awful outside. It's been totally renovated. It is now rivals the best steakhouses in the Central Jersey area. Absolutely. And we, we worked uh, very closely with Mike and his team for uh, many months, sometimes daily even, uh, just really restoring and uh, the, the brick that's exposed in here, much like in the brew pub down the street, is some of the original brick that was ever done, and that's kind of the history of Woodbridge, right, where right, we are. Right. And so it just, it's lovely, and they were great to work with, and we gave them a lot of direction, and here we are. Look at, look, look at the finished product, truly amazing. And this is so much better than I ever thought it would be. I want to give a plug to Michael's wife. Oh because my gosh. She was kind She's of the, the interior, interior decorator. decorator. Right, right. And she has unbelievable. She picked taste. everything out. The mural it's, there is yes. staggering. They took advantage of these windows behind us that were here already and they just enhanced them to make them a huge part of this whole uh, operation. So, anyway, thank you all for everything you've done. You've helped us achieve our dream of a steakhouse on Main Street. And you know that this wouldn't be built if we didn't have all of these downtown luxury apartments coming so all the people who were, were um, uh, worried about that well right now folks it worked because we have Strickland Steakhouse okay. we'll be right back thank you now I'm joined once again by Carolyn Ehrlich head of redevelopment and chief of staff and also Sharon McAuliffe, our current First Ward Councilwoman, and Holly Church Doyle, who's the head of the Woodbridge Chamber of Commerce. And Carrie, we talked about the story about how this all started yeah. from a 14-year-old hire that Sharon made. Let me hear you tell that version of the story. A lot better than I did, I'm sure. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. It was great. So uh, Mike's dad came into the store one day and said, uh, my, I see you have a help wanted sign. And he said, my son's looking for a job. I said, sure, send him in. So he came in. He's like, my dad said, I have to do whatever you tell me to do. So the first job I gave him to do was to clean the floor in the walk-in box. Oh, boy. He scrubbed, then he stayed? He scrubbed, cleaned the floor, did a great job. And from there, it was amazing. He just, no matter what I asked him to do, he took on the responsibility, did it. He made sandwiches. He worked on the grill. He actually became a driver. And Mike has this one... Not when he was 14. No, of course not. <laughs> he had worked there all I think he might have violated the child labor laws back then, but I'm not going to say anything. No, he had to get working papers from school. Oh, he did have them. Okay. He could only work a certain right. period of time during the day. Okay. You know, so a certain number of hours. But um, he actually always ate this one sandwich at the store so much that we put a name, uh, we named a sandwich after him. It's on the menu. So and What's it, it called? It's called the Strickland. It is? Yep. And so I know you got the mayor special. We have the mayor That's special, That's important. Too. So when we open, we're still going to have the Strickland on the menu because it's so popular, but it'll have to say the Strickland, in parentheses, before the steakhouse. So, you know, we'll do that. But Mike's a great guy. I'm so happy for him. I can't even express how 
beautiful this place is and how wonderful he's going to do. I've been here several times already, and the food is amazing. The cocktails are great. The service is outstanding. Service is phenomenal. Everything and you said is right. Please come down, check it out. It's gorgeous inside, and I don't think you'll be disappointed with anything that you get here. So if his first job was something completely different, his career and his life would have taken a whole different path. It's amazing how things like that work out. That's true. That, you know, my first job was cleaning fish tanks in Woolworths, but I didn't become a, a pet store owner. <laughs> yes. but, yeah. but actually, my first job was a paper boy. Yeah. Um, where I had and to count you, money. And I, you yeah. Did work for a newspaper. I did work for, for newspaper. Sure. Anyway, it's not about me. So, <laughs> um, so it's just so ironic that that 14 year old kid in a, in a, a bagel store became a prime restaurateur to the point now where he owns three restaurants, mm -hmm. all really good, one in New Jersey, two in uh, Staten Island, and he's going to have more. I'm telling you, just not his last restaurant in, in New Jersey, so. and I hope it's not his last restaurant in Woodbridge. Maybe he has one next week. Yeah, actually, he might, I know, but yeah. actually, we'll, we'll of, work on that. He kind of mentioned to me that he wanted to do something else in Woodbridge after this got I going heard, on. I so. heard, too. So, yeah. It's a little secret, but you never know. <laughs> so, so Holly, is the head of the Chamber of Commerce, uh, you've seen... Uh, you kind of came in right in the middle of the renaissance of downtown. Um, you see what it means to have the luxury apartments, and, and you see the impact of now ply bowls came out of nowhere. Absolutely. Well, we didn't even try for ply bowls. They just got here because they, they saw They looked around. They said, maybe Woodbridge. And sure enough, they're here now, and it's great. What does it mean to have Strickland Steakhouse downtown? It's absolutely amazing. You know, I had the opportunity to meet Mike and Jessica when Woodbridge Township hosted Staten Island. Woodbridge welcomed Staten Island. So that's when I met Mike and Jessica. And at that point, it was the very, very early stages, and that's when I got excited about it. It was love at first sight, right? Love at first sight. Yeah, right. And then Sharon and I had the opportunity to dine here about two weeks ago, and it was phenomenal. Mike and his wife, Jessica, are family-oriented, kind, generous, but above all, nice people. And that's the most important thing to a community, is adding those genuine nice people i for one am looking forward to their lunch hours me because too. as you know my office is across the street so everybody will know where to find me at lunchtime and not every day <laughs> well not every day but uh and maybe the, fridays and the downtown apartment complexes which let's face it we took a lot of heat for um i think already you're paying dividends because strickland steakhouse is not coming here without the kind of people that are moving here and living here uh, he said a lot of his customers are from those apartments. And one by one, Main Tavern is going to be Lenhan's Irish Pub. Uh, the old 73 main uh, office building is going to be Mexology. We have a wonderful restaurant coming under the Madeira apartments right across from Town Hall. They haven't signed anything yet, so we can't say much. But things are really happening on Main Street. We're only halfway done, not even halfway done. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, it's like the adage, build it, they will come. Right. And that's exactly what is happening. I am proud to be the executive director of the Woodbridge Chamber. Um, and, and it's just been phenomenal. And like you said, Mayor, I came on board when these transitions mm -hmm. just started to happen. And what I've seen is incredible. Very good. The next two years, the next two years, downtown Woodbridge is going to be transformed and it's going to be the place to come eat, drink, s listen to music, hang out, listen and to music, hang out, and just walk around and see everything that we have here. Woodbridge is going to be the place you're going to want to be. It's going to be walkable and it's, yep. music is big key too because yep. we have a every place is going to have some version of live music. In addition to our music festivals right. that Which we are over crazy. Right, right 70 yeah, 70 free us. concerts yeah. in town. Yeah, it's it's nuts what we go what we've got going on. Yep. So. All right folks, thanks for watching. Strickland Steakhouse opening September 8th, 2023, a day that will live in Woodbridge history.